Hello and welcome to the channel. The federal government and the labor union resumes talk today as both parties hope to reach an amicable resolution to the fuel subsidy removal looming crisis. The labor union had halted their planned strike as government had assured them they were prepared to meet them halfway with some of their demands. Now it is time for the government to put their money where their mouth is. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Petrol subsidy. Government, labor, resume negotiation on implementation framework. As the federal government and labor unions return to the negotiation table today to resume talks over the implementation framework of resolutions reached on June 5th, Stakeholders have urged government to be sincere and come up with something tangible that the organized labor can work with. They said a new deal should capture both workers in the formal and informal sectors of the economy, as well as other citizens not engaged in the nation's workforce. Noting that the atmosphere is already charged and filled with tension, they argue that the government should be magnanimous in ensuring an agreement that is substantial enough to cushion the effect of petrol subsidy removal. The Guardian gathered that workers are already apprehensive because since petrol subsidy was removed three weeks ago, nothing concrete has been put on the table to cushion the effect of the removal besides assurances. Many are becoming more worried following the signing into law of the student loan, which they alleged had some stringent conditions and the floating of the Naira. At the last meeting, Former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Gbajabi Amila, had said the rounds of negotiations between the federal government and labor unions ended with a resolution to reconvene today, June 19, to agree on the implementation framework of the resolutions reached. The resolution was signed by the President and Secretary of the Nigeria Labor Congress, NLC, Joe Ajairo and Ima Ogboaja, respectively. President and Secretary of the Trade Union Congress of Nigeria, TUC, Festus Osifo and Nuhu Toro, respectively, and endorsed by the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Labor and Employment, Kasholom Daju. Bajabi Amila said the federal government had promised to provide a framework for the maintenance of roads and expansion of rail networks across the country. He said the Joint Committee would assess all the demands submitted by the organized labor to the federal government during today's meeting, adding that NLC's agreement to suspend the strike notice was to enable further consultations as well as continue ongoing engagements to secure closure on the resolutions. Already, the National Economic Council NEC at the weekend recommended palliatives for workers and vulnerable groups to ameliorate the harsh effects of fuel subsidy removal. Governor Bala Mohammed of Baoshi State had disclosed that the council considered recommendations from the National Salaries Income Wages Commission to pay 702 billion naira as cost of living allowance to civil servants as part of its intervention plans. He said the 702 billion naira was a suggested sum for labor to cushion the effect on workers on a new allowance that will be tagged cost of living adjustment allowance. The meeting, presided over by Vice President Kashim Shetima, also announced the setting up of a committee to work out, within two weeks, the modalities for organizing and distributing the palliative. This is us. The TUC at the last meeting demanded the immediate implementation that minimum wage should be increased from its current 30,000 naira to 200,000 naira before the end of June 2023, with consequential adjustment on cost of living allowance like feeding, transport and housing, among others. Among the 14 items presented, it said a representative of governors will be a party to the communique and all the governors must commit to implementing the new minimum wage. It demanded tax holidays for employees both in the public and private sector that earn less than 200,000 naira or $500 monthly insisting that petrol allowance should be introduced for those earning between 200,000 naira to 500,000 naira or $500 to $1,200 yearly, whichever is higher. 
It demanded that the federal government should provide mass transit vehicles for all categories of the populace and put in place an immediate review of the national health insurance scheme to cover more Nigerians. For the medium term, the Labour Centre demanded the deployment of compressed natural gas, CNG, across the country, in line with the earlier promise made by the government. It said the framework and timeline would be developed and agreed by both parties. It added that Labour and government will design a framework that will be geared towards reducing the cost of governance by 15% in 2024 and 30% by 2025. Setting the agenda for today's meeting, first Vice President of TUC, Dr. Tommy O'Conn, said the sacrifices of workers for the past three weeks have been enormous, stating that workers were ready to cooperate with the government. Ocon, who stressed that the patience of labor will not be dragged too long this time around, said he was hopeful that government would not only agree to the proposals, but the agreement reached be followed by prompt action, recognizing the fact that there has been trust deficit in past years between the government and the citizens. This is a new government and we do believe that the agreement that will be reached will be honored and well implemented because it is very difficult for workers to go to work, he said. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. When asked if Labour was satisfied with the 702 billion naira as cost of living allowance to civil servants as part of the intervention plans, Ocon said, we need to see the workings before we can draw a conclusion. We cannot just look at the humongous amount and say it is Uhuru. Until we see the breakdown and look at it from all the indices, this will form the basis of agreeing or disagreeing. We do hope for a fruitful discussion and we will continue to build the confidence together. Government should know that Labour seems to be stubborn because of the trust deficit that we had with the government over the years. On the union's proposed 200,000 naira minimum wage, Ocon, who is also the president of the Association of Senior Civil Servants of Nigeria, said it is a proposal we put forward to them. By the time we get there, we will also look at what they will come up with and negotiation will start. It is not just on the wage, there are other issues that need to be looked at. That is one aspect of what we put forward. Other allowances must also be brought to the fore for us to arrive at a logical consideration. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.